I feel as though many of you are having a lot of dreams right now and a lot of dreams lucid dreaming is like what seems real like you wake up and you're not sure where you're at but you feel like you're still in your dream and so I'm gonna pull a dream decoder card for you today from this deck <laughs> Scorpio, your dream decoder card is drowning. And what I see is that water in dreams, I'm just going to read this for you so that you can fully understand the meaning of the author. Water in dreams universally symbolizes emotions. So if you're drowning, this indicates that you're either under a lot of emotional stress or afraid of being overcome by intense emotions. And right now with Neptune and Pisces, that's the energy that I'm picking up on. 12th house, things that unravel you, but it's also your dream state. This dream may be a warning that something or someone is taking up too much space and energy and time. You might be too deeply immersed in a relationship or project and in danger of losing yourself. Perhaps you've overcommitted yourself at the expense of your health and well-being. You are feeling underwater. Neptune and Pisces right now retrograde is bringing back a lot of old thoughts. You may be dreaming of people from the past. We also see you in this hanged man position, somebody that you've been hung up on, some situation that you've been hung up on for a long time. You're trying to look at it from a different perspective spiritually. This is a person who appears to have been a friend for some, but a divine partner for others. Someone that you thought you might have married if it's a divine partner type relationship that you're thinking of. You are constantly learning something new. I see that you are juggling different ideas about what you want to do with your life. You definitely have ended a very successful cycle and you really want to start a new one, but you don't know what it is yet. You are highly desirous of is being able to control your destiny. And Scorpio, that's a hallmark of Scorpio. You're a fixed sign. You like to be in control of your destiny. And what I'm getting here is that you feel like your life is pretty fabulous for most of you, with the exception of this energy of needing to heal. And it's it's really, there are just days when you almost feel down for the count, like you want to take a nap or you want to cry or you just, it's almost like you just can't let go or figure out some situation in which you are absolutely sure that you do not have the answers. And you're right, you don't have the answers. When we get the, up the energy of Neptune, it's something that can unravel you. It's something that can undermine your self-confidence, your sense of stability, your sense of safety. And since you're so psychic, it really bothers you that you may have missed the red flags in a relationship, something that really hurt you. And I do think it was a romantic relationship, although there's been at least one friend who really let you down dramatically. So I'm going to jump in here with the Kipper cards and we're going to look at there's not a lot to clarify here. The message is really clear. To me, it looks like many of you are starting on some sort of new adventure, something that could involve travel, something that's a lot of fun. Uh, most of you are at peace, whatever has been going on in your life in terms of relationships. They do heal this month. I will say that whatever person that you're worried about it does look like there's contact from that person or a message from spirit that really helps you let go of this this energy over here the five of cups sadness feeling like all is lost it really isn't because you still have two cups left the four of swords you know really feeling wounded and like you need healing but i do feel as though what you're going to get is answers could be through a dream could be through a friend, could be information that comes in very unexpectedly with temperance. So let's go ahead and clarify the cards that are a little bit confusing here. So tell us about 
the dream decoder card, the feeling of drowning, what's going on? Is there any enlightenment for our beautiful Scorpio friends here? Clover, be grateful to the heavens for your fortune. Well, you are. You know intellectually that you have great good fortune. So I see that already here. That is a check mark off the box of quote unquote things to do from Spirit's assignment for you. Let's see, we have this, when we look at the moon card, ah, you're afraid of changes. Be more enthusiastic about changes coming up in your life. Now, I also think for many of you that you are, you want to take off and have more freedom. But I do think for many of you, according to the message that came through with our decoder, dream decoder, is that you may be tied down with too many obligations to too many people. Now, would you change that? No, I don't see you wanting to change that aspect of your life. But I do see you needing to process and let people handle their own stuff a little bit more than you're currently letting that happen if you're dealing, especially if you're dealing with adult children. All right, that may have moved back home, okay. So why do we have the Four of Swords here? What happened with this Four of Swords? What happened here? Cross, don't worry about a decision to be taken immediately. So it does show that you are all up in your head about some big change that's available to you to come through in your life and you're not sure if you wanna do it. It looks like it's a big commitment to start like a new project or a new cycle at work and you're really up in your head about whether you should do it. Basically, Spirit is saying, don't worry, that if you're focusing on impossible projects, it's useless. So you can really say no to this. I mean, Spirit is basically saying, you don't have to do this. You don't have to feel forced to do it. So you can just go and have more fun. You, can, you have work stability, you have money stability for those for whom I'm reading. But what you want is this sense of like lightheartedness. You are happy at the core. Look at all these happy cards. There's so much happiness, so much abundance, so much joy. But what I do see is there's just this sort of underlying, when will I get my person? Scorpio, what I see when I look at this reading is that for many of you who've either been married or come close to marriage, when I look at the relationship aspects here, what I'm seeing is you're wondering why didn't your relationship succeed? Why don't you have your person? Why do you have the rest of your, everything that you've wanted in life and yet you can't seem to achieve the stable marriage with happiness that you really have always wanted? What Spirit is saying is it's really time to discover new horizons. Take that road trip. <laughs> Take that sabbatical and drive cross country, travel Europe, backpack, do something. That's what I'm really seeing you called on to do here. And yet you don't think you can, but you know what? You are a master at manifestation, obviously. And there's two different ways you could do it. You're going to find it. I see you doing it. I see you absolutely doing it. You have the card for the Two of Pentacles that's clarifying this and the Two of the Five of Cups with two cups left is end, end your thought process about what you haven't achieved. It looks as though truly you're not being as kind to yourself as you should be. Basically what this is saying is spirit is saying, let it go, let it go. End and revival await you. So you, when you're able to let go of this energy, it looks as though spirit comes in and rewards you. So let's see why we have the nine of wands here for you. Fire in your belly, you have fire in your belly. Think twice before rush, before rushing in an adventure. Oh, wow. Well, that is crazy because I just said that you should go do it. So now, <laughs> Miss Psychic Donna, we have to really figure that one out. <laughs> the Three of Wands, okay. So basically in about three months is what I'm seeing, that you'll have your adventure. That you shouldn't wait about when. You will have it, you should have it, but don't be impulsive, don't rush it. Don't rush the decision and how you're gonna do it. The longer you take to plan it, you know, if you take three months to plan it, 
it really gives you, brings in this beautiful energy that is going to reset your love life and or whatever it is that this energy is about you feeling as though some dream that you have has not come true. Your adventure will bring clarity and you are gaining clarity now during the process. So let's look and see what your journey of love is at this time because with all these hearts and all this manifestation of marriage and happiness, I feel like this is the question that you have is, am I lovable? Will I get my love? Will I ever have it in this lifetime? And what we see, oh, look at you, Scorpio. You're accepting a proposal. Somebody is on bended knee. I want you to see this, okay? Oops, the daisy. That's like a tra that's like a traditional proposal that you will receive from someone. We also see that you are the moon. She is the moon. You are your emotions. Part of your identity identity is how you feel. All right. Sacred convergence is yours. You will have many people supporting you in the spiritual journey to have love. So for many of you, if you have a spiritual group that you hang out with, if you have a spiritual group that you spend a lot of time with, they are here to support you in this beautiful journey of convergence. That's a very spiritual type relationship. And basically, Spirit is saying, keep it simple, keep it simple, don't overthink. Let's look and see what the High Priestess cards are for you. This is the Oracle of the High Priestess. This is really, oh, you're so close. You're so close, Scorpio, to exactly manifesting what you want. Your heart's journey, the manifestation of your emotions, and of a divine partnership. Tenderness, true love, compassion. That's what you bring in. Whatever you bring in is what you attract. That's what Laws of Attraction tells us. So you may be, you may go on a journey or an adventure or a safari, tiki torches, starry nights, a beautiful ocean. It looks as though you may find your perfect partner while you're on an adventure or as an outcome because of what you learn on an adventure. Sacred action, decisive force. Three months from now is your timing, Scorpio. I'm so excited for you. You have a beautiful time ahead in which you will continue to manifest. You have a couple of, three, you have one, two, three. You have three Trinity cards here supporting you on your journey. So for the month of September, it looks as though you're going through a final phase, that sort of 12th house of an energy of Neptune really helping wash away the old pain and on the shores of the ocean will come in your new love. So, sending you love, Scorpio, it's been a joy, thank you.